Hey, hello guys. Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm your boy Joe and on this episode, we're going to go over roller guns versus your traditional spear gun. Maybe what's the benefits of a roller? Um, you, have you guys ever wondered what's so good about a roller? Can I convert my old spear into a roller gun? All right, we're going to find out all of that in a few minutes. So let's go. Holo holo. Hooraja. We are here at Helemai Fishing Supply down in Kapolei Industrial Area. I'm going to visit my buddy Kevin Sakuda, world class diver, owner and operator of Hammerhead Spear Guns. Let's go. All right, let's go check them out. They got gloves, spear guns, wetsuits, and fishing supply. But what's most important is they have a lot of free advice helping me find the right gun for what I do. They're actually going to build me one and also go over all the parts and all the benefits of having a roller. Oh, hey Joe, so this is like roller muzzle central. So we got a lot of different roller muzzles we can modify your spear gun with, or we can just get one right off the shelf. So right here, we have a several different models. So this is one of our premium. It's got a carbon fiber barrel with the Manny Sub Roller, and it's got ball bearings. So there's like zero friction on one of these spear guns with the roller muzzle. One of the cool things about roller muzzles is, you know, their bands are on the bottom and the top. So basically it turns my 110 centimeter spear gun to a spear gun with 220 centimeters of potential power. So like, that's like a lot of power, a lot of strength. And also because the bands are on the bottom and the top with the opposing force vectors, when you pull the trigger, like there's no recoil because the force vectors cancel each other out. So when at the roller spear gun, now I have a spear gun with a lot more band stretch and zero recoil. And it's a really, really a awesome package for shooting, you know, not just small fish and blue water fish, but and everything in between. So we're, um, we have a few different styles depending on you know your preferences and your budgets one thing i like to really promote is our raptor roller muzzle so on the raptor spear gun it's got elliptical shape so it's uh it's got a cuttlefish so it tracks really easy to the water it's not round so it's um like, like shaped and then it just tracks after your fish really really well uh, another thing it's uh, got a soft polyurethane coating so you don't have that metal on metal clang so it's a lot quieter when you're traveling to the water and it's paired with this roller muzzle the raptor roller muzzle it's all glass filled nylon injection but it's a really clean system for keeping your shooting line away from the bands and that's important because there's a lot of different moving parts on a roller muzzle there's a pulley system there your bands are moving so this system of keeping your shooting line a little cut and keep away from your bands is really important as well so i brought a whole bunch of different roller muzzles for you to see and the differences between each of them so right here we have our raptor roller muzzle uh, it's a really good easy beginner roller muzzle I like it because the bands uh, the shooting line is kept away from the bands um, and it has it's called a bushing system and so this we can install it on a lot of different spear gun barrels um, the next one I have is our reef roller muzzle it looks cool and aggressive with the stainless steel water jet cut and also it can keep your you know your shooting lines are attached around these horns keeping you know your shooting line away from the bands and away from any potential like tangle up with the roller muzzle um, next ones I have are from Australia and so these are called the Manny Sub in a double or single roller configuration and cool thing about these is there's got ball bearings in the rollers you can like hear how fast and smoothly they go and then this one this has got a ceramic with a carbon fiber oh yeah that's so like frictionless <laughs> I mean just like like a roller blade wow. you know ball bearing so, and there's got various bases, so whatever spear gun you have, there's different bases we can attach it into to fit various barrel diameters. Um, and that's a cool thing, you just bring your spear gun on, a cheese muzzle, and we can do a modification there. You know, we might have to do things like plugging the barrel, making sure it doesn't flood, and looking for various attachments for your bands on the base of the spear gun. And one of the important things about the roller spear gun is a shaft. So a roller shaft is, needs to be designed specifically to clear the roller muzzle. So when your band is going to the roller muzzle, it has a tendency to snap down and that can actually interfere with your shaft, you know, hit the back of the shark fins or something and cause it to be thrown off. So what we've done in house is we created a specific shaft just to be used on roller guns. And right here, uh, it's a you know, heat treated 17-4 stainless steel. So we have a 
a loading tab right here to help you load the roller gun and also a shark fin welded here on the flat so there's nothing to catch off so your band's going to slip off and it's going to be you know no friction when going to the muzzle awesome and then make and then you was telling me earlier that we should um if you never shot this gun don't like load it on here and then try shoot it on that one that's only to like what are you guys pre preload right yeah so the loading tab is only for loading you never want to actually shoot from the loading tab you always want to make sure you're shooting and loading your bands on the back rest tab or back shark fin so there's nothing to catch on okay as the shaft goes through that's good to know <laughs> all right here you go so you guys can make almost any length right yeah well no, kind of like no, custom no. click right on the website you can right. click and almost just piece out what you want yeah right right it comes to uh, whatever size you want if, if it's in stock we can do it pretty much we'll, we'll find a way to do it for you awesome you know? Yeah, we can modify just about any spear gun to a roller muzzle. So there's a lot of different bases, a lot of different muzzles, and it's just about popping off the old muzzle, rigging up the bands, doing a good solid attachment. So a lot of ways to rig your roller muzzle as a modification. So, so you guys would even take if like they had uh, their old guns, would you guys bring it in and redo yeah, it? Yeah, that's what we do a lot of these muzzle oh, really? installations. So bring in your old gun, bring it down, <laughs> choose a roller muzzle. Oh, I thought you had so, to like do your own. Like here you go. Good oh no, luck. I mean. <laughs> yeah, you can if you want. You just buy the muzzle and can do the installation. Oh. But you have to do some plugging to make sure it doesn't flood. Okay. So whenever you remove the the muzzle, there's a chance that the barrel might flood. So different attachments as well. And also sometimes you have to drill your roller muzzle like attachments into the barrel. Uh, so it uh, might flood again over there. Uh, so a lot of different ways to attach your bands with the roller muzzle. But this is the right way to do it. So a lot of different, once you choose your, your muzzle, uh, you just have to see if it's a sideline release or a bottom line release, okay. and that's going to determine where your bands are going to be attached. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. See, it better just bring it to the professionals. Get it done right one time, yeah? <laughs> oh, what is that, Kev? So this is also a variable loader, so we can install oh. this onto your roller spear gun, and it allows you to have a low, medium, and high power setting. Wow. So right there, you put that right on your wheel mount and you have a low, medium, and high power setting. So you can have a variable power on, on your roller. So it makes your roller gun super versatile to add wow. this variable loader. Ah, look at that. There you go, look. I just came in not even long ago asking what to get, what size would be good for me, and then Kev was over here, nice enough to help me out. Here we uh, we custom rigged uh, you know Raptor 105, so perfect size for the reef shooting. So get some pow pow, some moves, a lot of power close up, and even some take down some pelagics. Ooh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> well, that looks awesome, man. Yeah, ready Jeez, to go. Jeez, that's crazy. That was fast, man. Same day. <laughs> so yeah, either you know bring Built. your spear gun in and we can rig it, or we can custom rig a spear gun right off the wall for you. Uh, you know whatever roller muzzle and whatever configuration and bands we got it dialed in. Awesome. Awesome. Shoots. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> yeah, fix that hair. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at this. I got a brand new gun. Check it out. Roller. <laughs> Finally in the roller game. Hammerhead spear guns. Yeah. All right. <laughs>